Robert Joseph Silveria Jr. was born on March 3, 1959 in Redwood City, California. Robert was the second born out of four total children. Robert was physically abused by his father growing up. His father's intention was to straighten him out. Robert was never considered a good kid. He had issues at school. At the age of 11, he got expelled from school and started experimenting with drugs. And by the age of 14, Robert began to heavily use drugs. He was beaten up by a group of boys during his school years. His first crime took place when he was still in high school. Robert had robbed a drug dealer. In his 20s, Robert had stolen his father's truck and was charged with auto theft. Shortly after, Robert had moved out of his home in California and murdered his first victim. His relationship with his first wife was rocky. They married and then separated a year later. They got back together and had a daughter together. After Robert's first killing, he didn't stop. He continued to kill, but this time in series. He was a member of the Freight Train Riders of America. Robert began to live on the railroad, surviving off food stamps and drugs. Robert had used the name Sidetrack. He would murder and rob his victims, ultimately throwing them out of the trains and leaving them on the side of the tracks. His killing style is how he earned the name the Boxcar Killer. Robert was caught and arrested after Bill Pamini had investigated a murder in Oregon. Palmini was able to put together the pieces of not only the Oregon crime, but crimes from two other states. During an interview, after being taken into custody, Robert had told cops, there's a graveyard out there. Robert had confessed to 47 murders, but was only convicted of three. Palmini said, I was amazed when I first met him. He was looking at me, smiling. I thought, this is a serial killer. But beneath the veneer of charm, there was a seething rage. And his recall of specific things about the crimes was amazing. He told me things about the Albany killing that we haven't even given out to the public. Robert was able to give Palmini details about the crime that he wasn't even aware of yet. Palmini said, We knew a dog had been stabbed. He did, too. He also said he stole the victim's boots, and one boot had a double heel. We didn't know that. In the last interview, Robert told Palmini that the FTRA does exist. I'll tell you about the FTRA in one word. Fear. That's what the organization is. It's based on fear. Palmini says that even today, even after retiring, the boxcar murders still haunt him. Deseret News claims that the letters sent by Robert were recovered discussing the boxcar murders. These letters included Robert's feelings after the murders, rage, remorse, pride, and doom. Robert confessed to the April 1995 stabbing of Roger Lee in Salt Lake City, Utah, as well as the death of Darren R. Miller, who was beaten to death in Grand County, Utah. Robert Joseph Silveri remains locked up today, currently serving two life sentences with more sentences waiting for him in other states. Several books mention the boxcar killer, specifically Murder on Rails.